Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. I forgot about this chest in the last video. I know, I know. <laughs> we get a extra level 3 out of it. Hey there, everyone. I'm BulkyFan08, and welcome back to Tales of Symphonia. Last time, we tackled the Light Temple of Lightning, the Lightning of Temple, and everything, all that stuff. Wow, that's... Good way to butcher your intro there, dude. Awesome. <laughs> And today, we are gonna take on the Summon Spirit of Lightning, Vault. So, let's examine this final lightning rod and let's see what happens. It's finally time. Here I go. He's just like before! What the hell is he saying? Sheena, calm down. I'll translate. You're gonna translate dot dot dot? Damn, Ray, you're good. I am one who is bound to Mythos. Who are you? You're just guessing, aren't you? <laughs> Mythos again? How could he make pacts with summoned spirits in both Tete Ala and Silveront? I guess he was just that amazing. Hm. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe Mythos went back and forth between the worlds with a Riard as well. I am Sheena. I ask that thou annulst thy pact with Mythos and establish a new pact with me. He says that his pact with Mythos is broken, but he no longer desires a pact. Why? Yeah, we kind of need him. I mean, we can fly, but we will most likely crash again. I will have no more dealings with people, therefore I desire no pact. No, we need your help! And I do like that Sheena got different elemental weapons in her hand now. We have the wind card, the fire card, the spell card, and I think that's the water card, but not the lightning card. Nice little touch. Don't know if it was, if it was on purpose, but nice touch. Sheena, be careful! Sheena, get a hold of yourself! But... Volts just lost his faith in people. Make your vow and try forming a pact one more time. You can do it, Sheena. Corin! I'm sorry that I couldn't be of more help. No, Corin! Gina, subdue Volt by force! Don't let Corinne's effort go to waste! Otherwise, you'll spend the rest of your life haunted by Volt's shadow! For the sake of everyone that risked their lives to protect me, Volt, I demand your power! Ooh, yeah, it's once again time to cue the music. Fighting the spirit. It's in this world too. He Though I know. will say, that scene with Corinne there is the first time I actually choked up in the game. I really like Corinne, and her sacrifice will not be in vain. Let's go, Volt. Now, I'm gonna say this right now. Volt is tough. He will completely destroy you if you're not careful. 
Of course, like always, Paralysis Charms work... Well, like a charm. <laughs> that was kind of weird to say, and I have summoned Corinne on Sheena. Well, that's not good. Let's change that. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, Sheena can no longer summon Corinne. Corinne is dead. Sadly. Yeah, I know. It's actually incredibly sad. I really like Corinne, but enough of that. Let's take down Bolt. Now, as I said, of course, Paralysis Charms are very helpful against this guy. He will be casting a lot of Lightning Elemental spells, like Spark Wave, uh, Lightning, and Thunder Blade. And he also got Strike. I don't really know why they just called it that. It could be Lightning Strike, but Quar already got that name, so I guess it doesn't work too well. And when he is low on HP, he can also cast the Almighty Indignation. Yes, it's in this game too, and it still hurts like hell. <laughs> I am not a huge fan of the Indignation spell in this game. Oh, we also got this! Ah, oh, Master Field. Yeah, that is his most painful attack. If you actually stand it. He also got Cardinal Strike there, which will shoot lightning in three different directions. And now it's time to have a little summon. Let's see. Uh, Undine is Volt's opposite, but... Uh, she doesn't really hit much, so I think it's time we see the Lord of Hellfire in action. Let's go with it. Right. Oh, awesome. I love the Ifrit summon, it is so cool. And pretty damn strong too. But as I said, yes, Undini is actually Volt's opposite. And what I mean with that, we'll see in a little bit. Though, I'm not a huge fan of the Undini summon, just because she... Jump, no jump. Oh, good boy. <laughs> because she is kinda hard to hit with. She will cast spread in... It's like the Judgment spell, actually, only she casts, uh, she casts spread instead of Judgment. It's random where it hits, but... Yeah, it's still good. <laughs> Roy, you need to remember that enemy's weakness. Oh man, you're making me study here, too? He doesn't have a weakness, and I don't I don't know how many times I said that now, but he doesn't have a weakness. <laughs> but anyway, by defeating Volt, we get the awesome Emerald Ring, which will cut down our, our TP usage in battle. Awesome. Sadly though, we didn't get to see Indignation, but he can cast it, believe me. And it hurts. But you probably won't get hit by it, because it is so slow. <laughs> Volt says, make your vow. Just like I said. For the sake of everyone that risked their lives to protect me. And for Corinne's sake as well. I want to save both worlds. The vow has been made. I entrust my power to the Pact Maker, Sheena. A link between the two worlds has been severed. Wait, I'll translate. The two opposing forces of mana were... severed just now? Yes, as I said in battle, these two are opposites, which means something special will happen every time we get a summon spirit that is opposite of one that we already have. So, uh, since we already had both Ifrit and Sylph, if we also get their opposites, something interesting may happen. What does it mean for the mana flow to be severed? Thank you, Regal, for asking such a good question, so I don't need to actually... Tell the people. Thank you. <laughs> Mana flows from the world in which the summoned spirits sleep to the world in which the summoned spirits are awake. 
This is the first time the summoned spirits have been awakened in both worlds at the same time. Because of this, the mana connecting the two worlds has been eliminated. Does that mean that Silveron and Tetheala have stopped competing for each other's mana? I do not know. The only thing certain is that the flow of mana between the worlds has been severed. Yes. Eventually, the world shall separate. You mean the two worlds will split apart? That's perfect. Then they'll stop competing for each other's mana. There are five seals in Silveront, and since there wasn't a summon spirit at the fifth seal, we should be able to sever all of the mana if we awaken the summon spirits that correspond to the other four seals. Maybe. But also remember, Rain, we didn't get the summon spirits of the fourth seal, but... Uh, oh, maybe we will. Hmm, who knows? <laughs> so, if we awaken Tetheala's summon spirits, we'll save Silveront without having Tetheala go into decline, right? At the least, the mana connecting the worlds will disappear, and the two worlds will separate. I see. So the seals serve as a link between the two worlds. We owe it all to you, Sheena, and Corinne as well. Huh? Because the two of you risked your lives to form the pact with Volt, we now know what the seals do. That's right. It's thanks to both of you. Corinne, thank you. And we get Corinne's spell. <sighs> I never really liked this part of the game, you know. Corinne dying and all. At least her sacrifice wasn't in vain, but still. I really liked Corinne. She was adorable. He, she, I actually don't really know if it's, it's a spirit. It was adorable. There we go. <laughs> but of course, like always, we get the Pact Ring, the Sardonyx. We get Tethe Seal Lightning. Yeah, Tethe Seal. I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> Silver Seal and Tethe Seal. And of course, we get Summon Lightning, which is a pretty good summon, actually. And also, I forgot about this. Sheena gets the title of Summoner, even though she should probably gotten this title when we got Undini, but... Oh well, <laughs> you get it after you actually get four summon spirits. But yeah, that's everything for the Temple of Lightning. There's no reason to come back here ever again, except for one thing, but that's a side thing, so... For, uh, for the story, no reason to come back here ever again. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Once again, I really agree with Zolos. But, yeah, I can see the three other points too, but... Zelos, ow! It's right, you know. You know, I, th I think those should be turned off after we actually get bold, but... Eh, guess not. <laughs> they want to punish punish us one last time before we actually get out of here. But anyway, hey, Orochi! I guess you succeeded in forming a pact with Molt. Congratulations, Gina. Orochi, thank you. Now, the whereabouts of the Rayards. Take a look at this, ma at this map. You are now here. Oh, God. The signal from Sheena's Guardian was detected under the sea, southeast of here. A fjord like area is covered in ice is located there. That must be the entrance to the Renegade base. Uh, if it's underwater, does that mean we'll have to dive into the sea? Don't worry about that. I'll go on ahead and make preparations. You guys join me later on. Okay then. Okay, let's get going. Yes. To rescue Colette as well. Yeah, I hope Colette is alright. Yes. 
Yeah, me too, I suppose. <laughs> Though I'm not a huge fan of Colette. It would really suck if you actually lost a party member like that. But, oh well. ありがとうな。お前とコリンのおかげだよ。私コリンに謝らないと。どうしてだ。コリンに力不足だなんて言っちまったからさ。不足してたのは私の根性だったみたいだ。あの子にひどいこと言っちまったよ。コリンの
we were lucky. Wow, very lucky. Well, there's no choice. Right now, we need the ability to fly. Indeed, let's hurry. Alrighty, so we go from one dungeon straight to another one. And, lucky us, in this room we have one of these refreshers once again. I miss these things. And this thing actually also sells miracle gels. So if you want to be incredibly cheap, buy a couple of miracle gels and you will never die. <laughs> you can also talk to Orochi and he will tell you the, uh, the passcodes that you got so far. And he will also heal you. So if you want to level grind a little bit or at least money grind, this place is pretty damn good. And we have a save point too, so this place is pretty much just heaven. <laughs> But anyway, I will go through this dungeon in the next video, because, well, even though this has been kind of a, kind of a little short video, or shorter video, there we go, it's still a bit long in my taste, so I'm gonna end this off here. So next time, as I just said, we will go through the Tatiala base. So, thank you all for watching, and I see you all later.